Namaskar. Welcome to Vision of Asia. I'm Kala Shankar. So much is happening in our community and today's Vision of Asia is packed with reports on various events. Today, on Sunday, October 14, 2018, in our special weekly one-hour edition of Vision of Asia, here are the highlights. Shikshayatan Cultural Center celebrates 30 years of excellence. 2018 India Youth Fund Gala. 31st Annual Dipavli Festival by the AIA. SKN Foundation's 2018 Gala in New Jersey. Viba Vibe 2018 Dance for a Cause. Raga Revelry's film screening and discussion with Sri Devi Thakkar. And the Akshaya Patra Gala at the Newark Marriott. Before we begin, let us take a short break to appreciate our sponsors. We'll be right back. On Saturday, October 6, Chikshayatan Cultural Center celebrated 30 years of excellence in learning Indian art and culture. The founder and president of Chikshayatan, Purnima Desai, mentioned that the center's mission is to preserve the Vedic heritage of India. Over 50 internationally renowned artists, poets, performers and students enthralled the audience at the community center in Flushing, Queens. Singer Surabi Dhomne of TV Sara Gama fame and Bharatanatyam classical dancer Gaurav Ajmera were among the performers. Bharatiya Sanskriti ki prati shraddha ka bhaav rakhne walon ko vishesh badai aur aap ki anubhuti aaj ke din. Ye ek vishesh karyakram isli hai kyunki ek to 30 saal is yatra mein jo mujhe lage hain bachon ko jo Bharatiya Sanskriti, Sahitya, Sanskrit ke shloks नृत्य जो भी हमने काम किया आज तक मेरी तपस्या हो चाहे त्याग हो वो मुझे आज मेरी ऑडियंस बहुत मतलब एक से एक बढ़कर ऑडियंस है बहुत बड़े बड़े महानुभाव हैं डिग्नेटरीज हैं डिप्लोमेट्स हैं आप जैसे बहुत उत्कृष्ट कोटि के कवि हैं पंडित तो एक अलग की बात है लेकिन आप लोग सबका सहवास और आपका जो आशीर्वाद मुझे आज प्राप्त है मुझे लगता है शिक्षायतन संस्था की माँ होते हुए क्योंकि फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट मतलब मैं इस शिक्षायतन संस्था की एक माँ हूँ तो मेरे लिए तो ये बहुत गर्व की बात है और एक से एक कलाकार जो है वो अपना उच्चतम अपनी जो कला की जो उन्होंने जो इतने दिनों से साधना की है वो आज हमको देखने को मिली है The program is so engrossing, so entertaining, so full of uh, uh, what you call uh, Indian uh, Indianness, and uh, it is so uh, indicative and representative of Indian culture that nobody can remain unimpressed. I think this kind of a program, uh, of course, it takes a lot of effort to organize. Uh, this kind of a program, but this kind of a program is a must if we really want to preserve Indian culture here in USA or anywhere in the world. Today, 
मेरा प्रश्न आपसे यह है कि आपने कई संतों को भी इस कार्यक्रम में आमंत्रित किया उनकी उपस्थिति से और ये सारा आयोजन करते हुए जो संतोष होता है उसके बारे में और क्या आपने विशेष रूप से सीखा इस सब इसको अगर हम प्रेममय परिश्रम कहें तो उसके द्वारा मेरे दृष्टिकोण से तो शुद्ध हृदय प्रसन्नचित आप तभी रह सकते हैं आंतरिक प्रसन्नता एक अलग बात है और बाह्य प्रसन्नता मुस्कुराना एक अलग बात होती है तो आंतरिक प्रसन्नता मतलब जिसको आप अमेरि अमेरिकन लोग कहते हैं ब्लिसफुल स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वो तभी प्राप्त होता है जब आपको अपने पूर्वजों का आशीर्वाद संतों का साधुओं का आप जैसे लोगों का जब आशीष मुझे मिलता है और मैं कर्मठ रहती हूँ बिना किसी आशा के मेरा कर्म निष्काम है और ये मुझे पता है कि मैं इसके पीछे किसी फल की आशा नहीं रखती हूँ यश की भी नहीं धन की भी नहीं और सभी को मैं बड़े प्रेम से बड़े सत्कार से बुलाती हूँ और सब आकर मेरा जो मेरी उत्कंठा है मैं मैं जो इस प्रकार से जिस ध्येय को प्राप्त करना चाहती हूँ वो मानव प्रेम है तो मेरी संस्था का उद्देश्य है कि तू एक अच्छा मनुष्य बन मनुर्भव देखिएगा आप शिक्षायतन के में लोगों में मैंने कहा है कि एक अच्छे व्यक्ति बनने के लिए देवगुण देव तो बाद में बनेंगे एक अच्छा व्यक्ति ही अगर हम बन जाते हैं जीवन में तो मुझे लगता है बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि है The India Youth Fund held the 2018 India Youth Fund Gala on Night in India at the New York Public Library in Manhattan recently. Established in 2012, the goal of the India Youth Fund is to provide programs that are focused on educating and improving the wellness of underprivileged children in the slums of Mumbai, India. The mission of the India Youth Fund is to enable all children to healthy and empowered lives of leadership and choice. Here now is a report by Ashok Vyas on the 2018 India Youth Fund Gala at the New York Public Library. Uh, India Youth Fund is something that's very important to me and I've actually been involved with for a long time before my role as CEO. I've been on the advisory board since uh, 2014 and uh, my first interest peaked uh, because my husband's from India. So I spent many years traveling to India and just seeing how much the country needs our help and uh, especially the slum population and as soon as I found India Youth Fund, fund i just wanted to get involved so i kept diving deeper and now i'm ceo and it's a time of growth and exciting things for us and it's uh it's really a wonderful time uh the first impressions that you had when you uh, saw how salam bombay is connecting with kids and your initial impressions i think the uh most important thing is the age group we've decided to work with and it's age is 12 to 17 and this is a very critical time in in uh one's life it's a time where you either can become a contributing uh member of society or you can choose a different path and the dropout rate at age 12 uh in india is huge so we really wanted to step in and intervene at that time and we see that rather than kids becoming dejected from an uncomfortable school situation maybe not motivating teachers or um pressures from their families to drop out and go make money or help in the house we've stepped in at this point and 
we get the kids coming back to school. So through our life skills academies, which can be anything from sports, cricket, field hockey, soccer, to uh, theater, arts, creative arts, uh, we're giving these kids purpose and a reason to come back to school. So stepping in at that critical time, I think is just the, the most important thing. Um, and we get them coming back to school because that's the ultimate goal. If you haven't, please start following us. But what you will see in these videos are our sports fields, our classrooms, our school halls are all echoing with a resounding thank you, India Youth Fund. And those thanks come from almost 9,000 new students enrolled this year, approximately 16,000 total, total active students, over 25,000 cumulative enrollment since our inception. We are now present in over 400 schools across India, and we have partner programs across five Indian cities. I think it's safe to say we have accomplished our expansion and growth goal for last year. Again, it's in the context of India. You know, there's a huge, huge population which is very young. Uh, the demographics are such that the, you know, under 25 and in the case of India Youth Fund, even under 20 is a major percentage of the population. I don't remember the percent, but it's like close to 30, 40 percent. And so creating opportunities for those children beyond just what is available, which is that the Indian go government, which has done a fantastic job of actually providing or providing the opportunity to provide education. It's one thing to provide the physical education, but it's one about providing the software in terms of the education quality, the sports, the extracurricular and everything else. And what the India Youth Fund has done is saying, look, yes, you can have a school, yes, you can have computers, you can have all these other things, but if you're not actually teaching the people, t teaching the children what they're supposed to learn, you're not going to actually make a difference. And I think the Indian government recognizes this in full film and hats off to them. I mean, they've done a fantastic job of getting 100% or 99.9% .9 of students through schools. So an Indian Youth Fund supplements a lot of the other things which are doing, which is building the capabilities uh, to provide young children, whether it be after school, athletic uh, and, and other things to really get to the next level. <laughs> So there's a lot of dedicated people on the ground, uh, people that dedicate their life to talk to the families, to convince them that this is the right thing to do for their kids, uh, sometimes for girls. Um, sometimes you talk to the family, their financial struggles are real. Uh, we're not just doing something just for fun. It's a sacrifice for the family, it's difficult for them, and there's a lot of people that encourage both the kids and their parents to go through this process, to get them some skills so that they can move in. Which parent doesn't want that for their kids, right? And, and, uh, but we're helping them through encouragement around that struggle, right, of how to make both possible. Um, there's, um, you know, in, one of, uh, in, in Bombay, for example, there's about 100 people that work uh, in the organization that work with families, work with the municipal schools, teachers have a play, coaches have a play, anybody, you know, growing up, who doesn't want a good figure that gives you some advice, right, it, for life? Um, so finding those people is not easy, but thankfully we've done good work, so we attract good people. Um, many of the kids that actually have gone to the program come back to volunteer, um, actually almost all of them. They've seen the power of it. They're the best 
advocate, the best coach uh, to some of these kids, and and that's uh, um, you know that's how we do it. It's just good people helping good people, I mean. and it is fulfilling. So many people think that I don't have time to think beyond this zone all the way up to India and connect with them. And sometimes that happens and it is a lukewarm sort of a thing. You uh, donate once, but the kind of continuous uh, committed association that you have had, how that happens, what is the secret? So I must say I've been very fortunate that my family has supported me wholeheartedly. If it wasn't for them, I would not have been able to accomplish as much as I have and been able to give so much of my time, so much of my effort and so much of my heart into the programs, into understanding and supporting. Um, I think you have to really teach your children through example. Um, and there are many different ways of giving. You could give your time, you could give your money and you could really give in so many ways that there's enough time to be able to do that. Um, I think there is um, something to be said for people who are busy. I, you always take time out for things that are important. We all have very busy lives. And if we think and put a sort of a marker on when we'll do things, that marker may be pushed back and back. But if we start to do something and we're committed to it, then there are always ways to be able to find time. And I think for my children to go back, they've also visited with me. I think it's important when you have a life of privilege uh, to be able to understand how little can go so far. And so that is also a reason why I feel their support uh, has been so encouraging for me because there is some understanding at a deeper level. You are watching Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We'll be right back after these messages. The Association of Indians in America, New York chapter, celebrated the 31st annual Dipavli Festival at South Street Seaport on Sunday, October 7th. This exciting event had celebrity interactions and performances. Singer Shilpi Paul and Jazz Dami were headliners at the festivities. Here now is a report by Aditi Lamba. <laughs> good crowd over here especially the old ones I, I should say the more younger ones I love them and they were uh, singing with me and all dancing with me everyone were in the on the sing and all I was I was loving them I was loving performing uh, performing on uh, between on them how has the journey been for you so far and like what can we look forward to when we are talking about your future projects whatever can you tell us uh, future projects are that's top secret uh, but uh, it was very good and I'm proud that I came, I came to the Bollywood, everybody, that's a dream for every singer and that dream came true. So I will thank everyone who helped me till here and also the audience, they love me a lot. Thank you. And any, you know, advice or any messages out to aspirants who are looking up to you and on the occasion of Diwali, any messages you'd like to give to the audiences watching you across the country? Just uh, happy and safe Diwali to you guys. And you can uh, connect me to YouTube and uh, with Insta, my Snapchat, Shilpi Paul official, any, anywhere you can contact me. And uh, do call me again, I would love to perform uh, in the US. <laughs> AIA 
has been doing an amazing work for the last 50 years. And 31 years they have been uh, pulling off uh, this uh, Diwali at South Seaports. Such an amazing congregation. And I think every year is getting bigger. I was here last year. This year it is bigger, bigger artists. And you know what I like about this uh, Diwali at South Seaport is that they are able to convene the young generation, young people. You saw the number of uh, young people who were dancing and enjoying the enjoying the evening. So I think uh, this is what is uh, so good about AIA, that it's able to connect to the young generation. And I think Diwali is an important festival. It is no longer an Indian festival. It has become an international festival. Diwali is being celebrated in the White House. We have the Diwali stamp. And I think Diwali is a moment when you know you connect to your roots, you connect to your family, you connect to your uh, motherland, which is India. And I think what we should try to do more and more is uh, include others in our celebrations of Diwali. Just like you know, Christmas is celebrated and New Year is celebrated as an inclusive festival. I think we are trying to make Diwali a very inclusive festival. And I am uh, not exaggerating when I say that you know the American people also enjoy Diwali. And they have a lot of understanding of Diwali and Diwali has really caught on. So this year I would request all of, all of you and all our Indians here to invite your neighbor who is an American to your Diwali celebration. I mean, when I perform, before I go, I always have this like, real nervous feeling before I go on. Obviously, I know people um, love my stuff, love my songs, love what I'm doing, but it's just that feeling, the first 10 seconds I'm going on stage, always a little nerve-wracking. But I'm excited to be out there, man. Seriously, like, New York, you can't ask for anything else, man. Here comes the international sensation, the world-renowned superstar, the one, the only, Mr. Jazz. Yeah, there's loads of love for this here NYC, man. I mean, they, they brought me out here for the for these shows, and they put me on this show over here. And we just did an Atlanta Atlanta show last night, yeah. and the night before we were in um, we were in LA. So it's been like a crazy tour, man. And I'm coming I'm coming to the end uh, towards the end of the tour now. Yeah. I've got another three four dates, Connecticut, and there's one last show in in the New York happening. But it's been great, man. It's just been, you know, it's all about promoting Punjabi music, uh, South Asian music more than anything. And if they guys are doing that, I'm supporting them, man. Like I said, it's all about pushing the boundaries and pushing uh, South Asian music and pushing South Asian um, just movement. And uh, I'm all about that, so um, definitely. And right before I have you, I have to ask you now, you know, you are, you're ending your tour soon, very soon here. Um, what can we look forward to? And also your messages for your loving fans that have been trending on ITV Gold everywhere since you post your first video. Oh, wicked, man. Um, you know what? Thank you, man. Thank you guys for supporting. You know, I've just dropped a new single two days ago yeah. uh, called Leave It. And that song's making some crazy waves, like three million hits in like two days, man. So thank you guys for the love, man. And I can't wait to go out there now. I'm excited, man. <laughs> SKN Foundation held its annual gala 2018 for diabetes care recently at the Marigold in Somerset, New Jersey. The Sri Krishna Nidhi Foundation, or SKN, is a not-for-profit organization with a mission to promote total wellness of people and the community through education. Special guests at the gala included Vikas Khanna, Indian-American chef, restauranter, cookbook writer, filmmaker, humanitarian and the judge of Master Chef India. IndyCar series driver Charlie Kimball, 
who shared his story of being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and Madira Bedi, Indian actress, fashion designer, and television presenter. The SKN Foundation, uh, the initiatives are gr very great. Uh, they are mainly doing the, the diabetic initiative in the South Asian community. It's a really uh, uh, great initiative uh, for the SKN Foundation. And I must congratulate SKN Foundation and its activities. Thank you. We are here at the Marigold Somerset to celebrate this SKN South Asian Diabetes Education Resource Center uh, that um, resides right at St. Peter's uh, in the St. Peter's South Asian Institute. We are here to develop um, and provide support for all people of South Asian origin to prevent, manage their diabetes and related chronic diseases. And we thank uh, SKN and SKN family, uh, Dr. Naveen Mahotra and all the advisors and the board members for their incessant work in developing this organization and taking it forward. My name is Dr. Sunil Parikh and I'm the coordinator of South Asian Institute for Diabetes. And I thank from my bottom of my heart to SKN, Sri Krishnanidhi Foundation, and St. Peter's University Hospital to give us a platform to combat diabetes in South Asian community. Number one, let us prevent diabetes. If we cannot prevent, let us manage it and let us revert the diabetes. And in case if we cannot revert the diabetes, let us prevent the complications of diabetes. And in case if we cannot prevent the complications, we are working together with all community-based resources to make people independent, self-sufficient, and happier and healthier in their life. Thank you, ITV. Today we are celebrating SKN Foundation's initiative, and their diabetes initiative is great, which will help the South Indian, uh, South Asian community. And I would like to congratulate SKN, SKN organization. Well, I'm really excited to be here supporting the uh, SKN Foundation and, and their drive to raise awareness and raise funds for, for South Asia and the diabetes community. As an IndyCar driver with type 1 diabetes, it's really important to me to support that diabetes community. Uh, I think the biggest message that I have for anyone out there with diabetes is that with the right tools and the right management, uh, using the advice from your healthcare team, there's very little you can't do in life with diabetes. Even drive a race car at over 200 miles an hour. Hi, this is Dr. Naveen Mehrotra uh, from the SKN Foundation, and it is a great celebration that's here today. It's the um, celebration of the partnership with St. Peter's University Hospital of SKN Foundation. We're working with the South Asian Diabetes Education and Resource Center that has been created to help our community to prevent the onset of diabetes and also to prevent complications if they have diabetes. And that is what we are here to celebrate and that is what we want our community to support. So thank you so much ITV for being a part of our uh, event and spreading our message out to our community. Thank you. You know, SKN Foundation has been working a lot on the health focus initiatives, but when they were discussing about diabetes, you know, I said, this is something which is most important right now pertaining to what is happening to our culture and especially to our people. And we know that our DNA is more prone towards this disease. But somehow, such a big initiative was never touched before. And, you know, I've been living in US for almost 20 years and this is the first time you feel the gravity of diabetes as discussed openly and to find solution and to control it in despair. And uh, SKN is doing great, great uh, community outreach and the, the best uh, uh, out of all outreach, this diabetes, diabetes in South Asian uh, uh, community is very important initiative and uh, when the uh, person like Vikas is supporting it, so that is a great, a great out, outreach and thank you Vikas for that and um, uh, thank you Naveen Malhotra, Dr. Malhotra who is my colleague in uh, we are the we both are the doctors uh, in the same hospital so uh, we, we uh, I really uh, appreciate that and I congratulate Naveen Malhotra and his team thank you good evening everybody 
Thank you, Dr. Narutra, for those wonderful words of introduction. It is my pleasure and privilege, firstly, to be here, and I congratulate the SKN Foundation for the wonderful work that you're doing. Um, what does fitness mean to me? It's become a way of life. Um, first, I have to say it's never too late to embark on a journey of fitness. Uh, I think now in my 40s, after having my son, I am the strongest and fittest I've ever been. So just remember, it's never too late to start. Uh, it's not important to go to the gym. It's not important to do Pilates. What's important is you should stay active. You should eat mindfully, eat with awareness. Um, healthy eating is a very loose term, I'm told, so we shouldn't uh, use that. Uh, the important thing is balance. I think uh, after becoming a mother, I realized balance is probably the most important thing. It's now time for a short break. We will return with more Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. Volunteers of the New York and New Jersey Vibha Action Center organize its second annual gala and fundraiser on October 6th at the Marigold in Somerset, New Jersey. Nearly 300 guests attended Vibe 2018, which is full of entertainment and delicious food. The evening also included a fashion show and silent auction. The goal of Vibha Action Center is to educate, enable, and empower those who wish to make a positive difference in the life of a child. Vibe 2018 raised $110,000, of which Vibha will allocate a portion towards a Kerala Disaster Fund relief. The chief guests for the event included Jelania D'Souza Deshmukh, Indian celebrity, film actress, and model. With a mission to dance for a cause, the evening's performances featured 16 local Indian American entrepreneurs, global executives, professionals, and community leaders. Vibe 2018 is about dancing kind of on the same uh, platform as Dancing with Stars. So we have participants uh, who are very well known in the different industries, and they are being paired up with uh, one of the best choreographers. They dance for a cause, and it's a wonderful fundraising event where people get to network and show off their talent. Um, and everything is for Vibha's kids who are the children in need and educating them, empowering them and enabling them for a better future. Thank you. This is our second season and we are very excited to have everyone here. Last year we had about 250 part uh, people in the audience and this year it seems like uh, we have shifted to a bigger place and we have about 300 people. The participants that have participated in VIPE 2018 uh, we have about uh, 12 of them and they have done a good amount of fundraising already but we are also very happy to have Janelia D'Souza here as our chief guest and uh, she's going to help complete our goal but uh, we are very happy to have her and uh, our audience is uh, very very thrilled to have her today. Uh, this is a special cause and we are bringing colors of beautiful clothing with a fashion show as well as wonderful choreographers have lined up amazing performances and very prominent participants from the community. This is a place, this is a effort by Vibha from New Jersey, USA and this is a very quality event. Uh, people are loving it, wonderful food. Uh, beautiful costumes, uh, amazing dance performances uh, and our culture is beautifully presented to help the people who are the core and life of India. So thank you so much. It's going to be a very entertaining evening. We have 12 participants here from all walks of life. Um, they worked really hard. Everybody's come together for this um, great cause of educating children um, in India. And uh, everybody here is a volunteer, right from the stars to the choreographers, to the judges, to people working behind the scenes. Uh, it's 100% uh, volunteer driven and we're very happy to do this together uh, for this noble cause. Thank you.
here and interacting with the youth over here do you see a difference between them and you know what do you think sort of has been the key in connecting you with the with the youth masses in, in particular um you know, I, um, one of the main things I realized was uh, generally when you're an actor, 90% yeah. of the time your fan flow following is, you know, males. But somehow I um, had a lot of female fan following. And then when I realized that I think I'm just relatable to most youngsters, I think I'm relatable to the kind of lifestyle they would like to lead, to right. the kind of independence they would like to, um, you know, have and the kind of career paths that they would want to follow because I'm someone who came from a non-film family. Exactly. Yes went into films not just in my comfort film zone but also in films that um, I didn't speak the language initially exactly. I went down to the south I um, realized that I had a connect with the south and I loved it as well so um, I don't know why uh, the connect is but I think I'm blessed and honored to have that the South Asia NYU organization in conjunction with the Department of Media culture and communication at NYU held a film screening and discussion with the writer-director of the documentary Sri Devi Thakkar and special guest Grammy nominated Chandrika Tandon at New York University on October 4th. The movie Raga Revelry, a journey through North Indian classical music, transports the viewers to the heart of Indian culture through one man's journey to create a permanent sanctuary in modern India for this rich North Indian classical music. The movie stars Padma Shri Pandit Vijay Kichlu. Here's the report. A musical treasure preserved in India for centuries promising nothing less than self-transformation. About 18 years ago, I had a crisis, an epiphany, however one calls it, and it's a privilege, I'd say, that I had this crisis because it wasn't that anything fell apart. It just, I just had an inner quest. I had to figure out what made me happy, what was success, what, why was I put on this planet, you know? What next was I just trying to bring up more checks, work with more financial institutions, do more stuff, whatever it is. It was, a, it was a deep crisis. And I realized that the happiest moments of my life had to do with music. When I was little, I sang before I could speak. So I said I needed to sing. I needed to go back and reconnect with music. A deep emotional connection between guru and student is essential for the knowledge to be transferred. devoted to the music, an ancient tradition successfully institutionalized in modern India and a gift shared with the world. I had a very simple job and that was to convince Pandit Kichlu that we should make this movie. Everything else came from him. Um, uh, he, we talked through, we collaborated on the script. Um, I did a lot of the non-musical pieces um, in terms of thinking that through and then uh, because I came from a point of view of someone who doesn't understand and who really wants to understand, let's break this down, let's break this down, let's break this down to the simplest steps, I, I think that collaboration uh, created a lot of these concepts that we put into this film that, and it was really Pandit Kichlu's idea that what if we were to just put someone on stage and do this in these steps, so. Just being a part of this great, you know, gypsiness of the music world was something that really injected an incredible life and excitement and passion amongst us. <laughs> Journey through North India's classical music with Vijay Kichlu and open to the rasa, the soul of the living being that is the raga.
head and a palm. And somehow, he, Shubhraji yeah, and he had this yeah. duo idea and, and it was mesmerizing to those of us that were also learning music. So he started to create very simple ideas of explaining it in English and his English is great, which you don't have very often with the greatest masters. That, the communication ability is awesome with the, with the Indian language and the music, but it isn't so much with the Western audiences. And he has such a command of, of everything. It's for the first time we understood how all of these pieces interact in a, in a conceptual way. And he's really been a master at explaining it. And, and just to, that's exactly, that's actually what made me want to make the film. I went to one of these workshops that Panditji gave in a little hall in Manhattan, and there was one workshop on rag and one on thal, and I came out of it going, I understood that, I got it. And if I can understand that, that was something that was worth sharing. You are watching Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. The program continues right after these messages. Stay with us. On October 6, the Akshaya Patra Foundation USA held its 2018 New Jersey Benefit Gala at the Newark International Liberty Airport Marriott. Akshaya Patra means the unlimited bowl of abundance and sustenance. Created in 2000, the organization began by serving 1,500 meals to a small group of local schools. And now, has expanded to the point where it has built world-class, highly efficient kitchens that cook anywhere between 10,000 to 250,000 meals within six hours daily. Time magazine has declared the foundation as the largest NGO-run midday meal program in the world. And it serves as a critical intervention addressing both hunger and education because lunch may be the only meal in the day for a child. Chairman of ITV Gold and Park Worldwide Media, Padma Shri Dr. Sudhir Parikh, attended the Benefit Gala. Take a look. Explain to me how you're feeling right now and are you currently content with how Akshaypatra has formed in over all these years? Well, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing what Akshaypatra does. They feed 1.7 million meals every day. Uh, and and the, the, with the simple mission of making sure that no child is deprived of education because of hunger. but there's 100 million children who need to be fed in India. So we can't be happy with 1.7. And so I'm so happy that so many people in New Jersey are coming forward to help the cause. So we have 37 kitchens right now and we're building 20 more. And, and once we get all these things operating, I think in democracy, once you show what's possible, people demand it. And then it'll spread out to all the 100 million children. All of us came here, we're all first generation immigrants here, and we all got educated and, and that education is what opened up the opportunities for all of us. And there's no reason as to why we need to deprive of any child of that opportunity. And so just by giving a small amount of $20, it'll open up an opportunity for a child for a whole year because, you know, hunger is such a thing. I mean, you don't want a kid to be deprived of education because of hunger. You know, in order to raise awareness or support, what would you say? Um, you know, it is amazing to have this kind of support from the community. But uh, to Desha's point, we are all here because of education. Every time we grew up, we heard this, that education is the only thing that can get you forward in life. And no child be, should be deprived of education because of hunger. Uh, we always heard that Nyandan is and Annadan are the two biggest dans. Akshay Patra combines that and gives a chance to the kids who every child has enormous potential and that is possible because of missions such as Akshay Patra. So that's why we support it. Could you, you know, talk to us about how your experience has been working with all of these members that work so hard, you know, having this, you know, putting together such a beautiful foundation and how important is it to really mobilize for all of us right now to, you know, make it even go bigger? So this has been an incredible experience. We started this about two years ago in our basement when Desh Deshpandeji came to our house and we were really inspired by that idea. We have a great team of people here from New Jersey, amazing team, and in two years we have come from our basement to the airport. 
So this has this has been an amazing journey, and it is possible because of all these people, and it is because everybody is inspired by the fact that with Akshay Patra's help, there is the biggest return on investment. With twenty dollars, you can keep one child in school for one year. One child gets educated, one family is lifted out of poverty. Where do you get this kind of return on investment, except Akshay Patra? I have traveled uh, all across the uh, United States. Uh, uh, for fundraising uh, for Akshay Patra and uh, I must admit that uh, this chapter uh, has done really well and uh, and uh, what makes it special is uh, uh, people uh, like uh, uh, Dr. Parikh and uh, uh, his wife I, I think uh, it's the support which is unconditional which uh, uh, which makes uh, dreams of uh, things like Akshat Patra a reality. So I'm very happy that uh, it's doing well here. There's a lot of fundraising that is happening and I'm sure that it'll only uh, grow from here on. And the question for both of you, what do you both have to say about the management of this entire organization right now? Everyone that you've interacted with, what do you have to say? Well, uh, I'm as, uh, associated with the Akshay Patra since its uh, inception, since it's founded by uh, Mr. Murthy and Mr. Uh, Des, Des. So uh, uh, I always believe that uh, uh, more you give, more you become. And uh, this is the best thing, and particularly this is a uh, food. I mean, you are feeding the hot, you're giving hot meal to the children, uh, and, and that brings them to the school. That's another excuse to come to the school, to eat uh, fresh food. And, and, and uh, today, today we have a uh, chip guest, uh, cannot be a better fit than uh, uh, Sanjeev Kapoor, because he is a, he is a, what, what you call is a is a mogul or king of the culinary. So and today we are talking about uh, uh, meals, and uh, he is a perfect. Uh, uh, and I must thank you this for that inviting, uh, making him uh, uh, brand ambassador of Akshay Patra. But I want to say that where such hasty people who are supporting the cause, in that case, without any condition, the fact that they are doing it, how much they can do it. और मैं यही कह रहा था पहले भी कि अक्षय पात्रा का जो ऑब्जेक्टिव्स है और भारत सरकार का जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है विच इज़ टू फाइट क्लासरूम हंगर उसमें 100 एंड 200 परसेंट को इंसिडेंस है तो ऐसे कॉज को सपोर्ट करना जितना भी करें वो कम है वेरी रियल नीड इन इंडिया एंड अमेजिंग पीपल यू नो नॉट ओनली दीज पीपल लाइक शेफ संजीव कपूर हु इज़ हु इज़ आईकॉन You know, I was telling him, हम पहले माँ का खाना पहले जानते थे, उसके बाद संजीव कपूर का खाना जानते थे। उसके बाद हमने कोई और शेफ का आजमाया नहीं है। So he, even support comes from people like him, then it means that it's something very amazing. It it is a great cause and it is a great cause and it is I think women feel very happy to you know help the hungry child. It not only uh, you are helping the hunger, but also the education, and um, they are uh, Akshay Patra is including the technology, so the cost is so low that everybody can help, and you be happy helping the you know hungry kids and giving the education. How important is something like this for you personally? Oh, it is very important. I'd say mm -hmm. I think it's not only for me. Uh, I think it's for everyone to. Uh, create balance in life, uh, right. I think it's important that there will always be imbalance. Mm -hmm. uh, some people will have more, some people will have uh, less, but I, I think uh, if we can find ways of uh, creating that balance, and that, I think that's what Akshay Patra does, right. creates that balance. It's a bridge that uh, uh, brings people together. And uh, uh, in this, I play a small role. and. Uh, Naturally, when you are able to contribute right. in a meaningful way, it's it's much uh, better uh, than anything else. It's the satisfaction uh, that you get, which is which is beyond anything else. It's right. uh, uh, it's it's a deep sense of uh, contentment that you get, right. and uh, and I'm happy that uh, uh, it's not about me giving uh, uh, to Akshay Patra. It is uh, Akshay Patra uh, giving uh, that. Wow. Uh, uh, to me, uh, they, they have given me that opportunity, so I, I am uh, I am thankful to Akshay Patra. It's wow. not uh, that I feel that I am doing it for them. I think uh, they, they are giving much more to me. Now we have a community announcement for the day. <laughs>
It's time to wind up today's Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. Thanks for joining us. Do follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel of ITV Gold. Keep informing us of events by emailing us at events at itvgold.com. Until we meet again, have a great week ahead. I'm Kala Shankar. Namaste.